I've been using Go High Level to save my team 20 to 40 hours every single month from the sales process to fulfillment and sales handoff. Now, most people use Go High Level as a basic CRM, but I've been using Go High Level to prepare my business to actually replace employees with AI. In this video, I'm gonna be walking through my top five automations that we use every single week that allow us to automate the sales process and start the handoff process to make sure we are delivering on every single client with an amazing quality and amazing speed, leading to higher lifetime value and better client experience. And the best part is we could do 95% of this without having to lift a finger. If you're still manually using your CRM to update contacts, send invoices, and do client handoff meetings, you're wasting time. Now, before we get going, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jordan Ross. I'm the founder of A Figure Agency. We're a growth consultancy and portfolio that helps agency owners fully remove themselves from the operation so they could focus entirely on growth and sales. And in my opinion, all fulfillment in all retention starts in sales. Because if you're able to hand off your clients easily and well, automate onboarding so they have a great experience, and then also hand off your clients well to your fulfillment team, you're enabling a good process and good onboarding experience for both the client and both the team member that's going to service them. Now that we got that out of the way, let's dive into my top five automations that are going to allow you to maximize your CRM. So first and foremost, Go High Level is a really amazing tool. We use it in a lot of different ways. and what I'm going to be doing is showing you how we at ADEF like to use it. Now, I have some made up records of myself in here, but I'm going to start actually with my first and favorite automation with one of our best clients, Josh Krause. Josh is one of our best and most premier cases that we've ever had at ADEF. He's worked with us for about a year. And in that year, he went from doubling his agency from four to six million in annual revenue. And he landed on the Inc. 5000 list at number 217 with us. And one of the things we recently started to talk about was Go High Level and how we could start to build a boatload of automations, a boatload of low tech AI processes that are going to free his team up. So. One of the things that are really cool here in this process is you get an automated fireflies recap of what the actual call was about. And for your team, you actually get the call recording. And one thing that I love is I don't want to have to update my CRM. I don't want to have to do anything as it relates to call notes. I want that to be automatically there if I want to go back to what we spoke about and if I want to download that and put into chat GPT and ask chat GPT questions. So that's my first and favorite automation that I really like because that is something that we're gonna actually circle back to for a consultant handoff report. And we're gonna get to that in a second. Jeff Bezos is famously quoted for saying, if I make three good decisions a day, that's not enough. They should be high quality and they should be the right ones. See. The hard part about this quote is that as founders, it's so easy to make the wrong decision. If you focus on the wrong thing, compounds it over time, you're going to not hit your goals and your business is going to flounder. That's exactly why I built the constraint calculator. This is a simple AI based driven tool that when you submit a few answers, just a few questions, it can give you the exact areas of your business you should be focusing on that will alleviate your constraints and allow you to focus on building the correct strategy. If you want to get AI driven insights to fix your operations, go to the link below and click on the constraint calculator. Back to the episode. So that's number one. You can completely automate your note taking by building an automation and integration using Fireflies into Go High Level. This is especially helpful if you're someone that's on the go. If you take calls from the car, you could take calls from Zoom have Fireflies join the Zoom call, and then it could automatically import those calls in your CRM without you having to lift a finger. It's very helpful. Number two is the automated follow-up process. I have a made up account called Jordan Ross, and we've customized our Go High level to really work for me. And one of the things that I really value here is as a sales professional, I can go in, but I have an SDR team that works through my account. They work through my email and they follow up for me. And what we have in here is whenever I need to follow up with someone in three, six, nine, 12 months, I'm going to write a note for my SDR, or they could even go back into the notes section from the Firefly. So if I don't leave notes. They can download my notes, upload it to ChatGPT and say, hey, how should I follow up with this lead? Or if I want to follow up with them in one to five days, I just click these buttons. When I do this, what's really awesome is this is going to update the record and it's going to move it from call booked. And it's going to automatically punt it over into my SDR pipeline. So you could see here, this creates an automated process for 
effort to move out of my sales pipeline into my SDR pipeline where now that's on his plate and we have workflows and processes to manage it for him. So if you build your sales team where you have a team of SDRs that work in your email, work in your calendar and work in your CRM, you don't have to manually move things over or even go through the process of telling them what you've spoken about or when to follow up. It will automatically move things over to them so they now have a future follow-up and it's automatically going to pop into their CRM where they can see it at the appropriate time. Now, I wanna show you what the handoff process and the onboarding process looks like if you are a client of ADEF. So I have my other record of myself. And there's a few different things in here that allow us to auto-populate our scope of work and auto-populate invoices. Now we've edited two locations in our Go High level to automate invoicing and to automate contracts. And those two places are the offer notes where we will actually put down what service we're selling, what subscription onboarding fee those will be, as well as our contract details. So what the business name is, who the client is, I have a few details that aren't relevant. And when we update those, I'm able to move a record from call booked to offer made or invoice sent. So we trigger it whenever we do an invoice sent, the automations are going to actually trigger to send scope of work to our clients. So in their inbox, they are going to have their scope of work automatically delivered to their inbox. Now, jumping over to my inbox, scope of work automatically delivered where I could go into the Panda doc, I could review it, I could sign it, and this could automatically be signed where we could literally do all this while we're on call with the prospect. So if we want to impress them and they're ready, we click a few buttons and then they literally have a scope of work document that's customized and you could customize a bunch of fields towards to your needs and it's fully integrated with Panda Docs. I love this because if people are looking to move fast and they want to sign contracts, sending contracts, I think, is one of those things that is such a tedious thing or could be such a tedious thing. But if you set up your templates and you set up your CRM to coordinate directly into your Panda Docs, which is the software we use or your DocuSign, you can automatically customize uh, scope of works and contracts so you can have clients sign them on the call when they are ready. Now, next step is closing the deal. Once we actually move the client into closed one, they are going to automatically get another email to onboard the client. Now, what you could see here is the automated onboarding email. You could actually see sent to zero minutes ago where we have another template that allows them to streamline their onboarding process with us, where they're going to get a video that sets full expectations and I start to set timelines and I start to remind them of the things that they are committing to. I give them a really clear onboarding path with a timeline and what they could expect in their discovery. And what this allows us to do is make sure that our clients are in an expedited fashion. They're getting onboarded and they're also seeing we have a very dialed in operation. Now, some specific things that we also include here, we have an onboarding portal where our clients have their own portal where they get their onboarding forms. And we also manage the client in our custom portal, we spend tens of thousands of dollars building this. Our clients are automatically going to get that portal emailed to them when they sign. On top of that, Slack channels are automatically going to be made as well. In our CRM, we mentioned if they're paid Slack or free Slack, because the invitation is different if it's a Slack connection or if it's a native Slack invite. And we also have the option to add multiple team members. So if I want to add Jordan to at eightfigureng.co, whenever we add add multiple team members. If and when I click closed one, that's going to send an invite to all the team members respectively so they could all get invited to Slack. Same thing. So we don't have to manually use admins to send scopes, to send onboarding forms, to invite them to Slack, which for years has been a very manual process through my admin team. Immediately, we're literally cutting out an onboarding admin function just by doing all this. My final thing that I really love is the automated handoff to my consulting team. Now, what I have in my portal and in my CRM is we customize the ability to click consultant. And when we click consultant and click closed one, that consultant will get the call notes put into a PDF and automatically sent to them. What I have edited further is the ability for those PDFs to be sent and the form of a call recap. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pull up one of these from a random client that we've had close. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull these for one of our clients that actually signed up for one of our go high level services. And before I do that, and before I show you that, if this video is adding value, please make sure you click the subscribe button and like this. I'll be creating more videos to help show you how you can automate your sales process into your fulfillment process that enables you to reduce your labor and automate as much as you can in your fulfillment operations. It all starts in your CRM. I like to say your operations process starts in your sales process, which is why I'm so passionate 
about doing things and go high level because they are very automation savvy and they're also low tech AI savvy as well, which I really appreciate. Awesome. So here's the exact example of what the client handoff report can be. I did have this one edited to redact any sensitive information for the client purposes, but what this allows you to do and your team to do is get a really thorough summary of what was discussed on the call. What are the phases going to be? What are the systems going to be? Like, what does the account manager need to know? What are the frequently asked questions that could have come up in a debrief meeting? How long did we commit to? What's the scope look like? And it's really, really crazy because these would require meetings in the past and those meetings are no longer needed. So you're saving time because you no longer need meetings. You're saving time because you're automating proposals. You're saving time because you don't have to manually manage your pipeline. You could click a button and your pipeline will get updated to future follow-ups. And those follow-ups can be automatically there to remind your team, tell you what you need to get done. Contracts, invoices, handoff, all automated. And there's a lot more that can be done. One of the cool things I didn't talk about in this video is what's coming. And one of the teasers I'll give to you, the way AI is trending is you could have a note taker in the call and on the back and the note taker could be analyzing the live transcriptions and be telling your sales professional literally what to say. It could literally be spoon feeding custom scripts for sales professionals that are learning. That's what's coming and we're gonna be covering that as it comes. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're facing any problem in your business, I learned at Amazon the secrets of operational excellence that they stole from Japanese manufacturing culture. If you want the exact secrets that I learned from Amazon to fix any business problem, go to the next link. Watch this video here on screen and I'll catch you in that next video. Thank you.